welcome back to the Buzz Bubble. Part four of the Buzz Bubble interview with Rob Schwartz. This is uh, the Kalalometer. Okay. Uh, there's Lee down there. I, I, I like this when I think about work. I'm going to walk you up it because yeah. it's really it's 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 how we're, it's how we view uh, what we do. Tell them to have their dog love elsewhere. Definitely cut that out. It uh, it, it, it starts at the 90 percent of advertising, which is bad. <laughs> um, then it moves up to ignorable. Uh, then we go to boring. Uh, mediocre, ordinary, and okay, uh, and then we go to good. And uh, a lot of times, you know, we get comfortable with good. Yeah. Uh, as we all know, good is the enemy of great. Um, and uh, great is defined by by breakthrough, and it, it changes everything. And I think that, you know, we we try to be likable, charming, human truth. You know, you know, different in some way, but it's hard to go from here to there. So that's great. I like to have this. So if Lee's not in the room, I feel like Lee's still in the room. <laughs> that's great. That's the that's the clawometer. And now let me show you this other thing here. That's great that you remembered that moment. Oh yeah. No, I. Which grew up in New York? I grew up uh, on the east side on Fifty Sixth and Second. Oh, you grew up in New York. New York, New York. <laughs> my my mom's from um, Rockville Center, though. But this is what I saw for about two weeks, and it was just so intriguing. And uh, I mean, I love the the simplicity of it. And uh, I love these are campaigns. You know, and then when it was revealed. You know, it was just amazing because this, you know, obviously solves it. I loved how they tore it out of the, the phone book. You know, I thought the line was clever. I mean, it's just so rare when, uh, you know, all the planets align. And this, this is where the penny dropped for me. And I said, I, you know, I need to do this. Tough shoot. <laughs> but they probably have to kill the bull. I was going to say. <laughs> One of the things we like to do on the show is ask our current guest to ask the next guest a question. Next week we're going to have... George Lois, mm. and um, if you have anything you'd like to uh, ask George, I'll pass it along. George Lois, lucky you. A legend. Yeah. What would I ask George Lois? Uh, what does, George, what do you think about uh, Twitter and Facebook, and do you have a Facebook page, do you have a Twitter account? What, what, what are you doing with social media? Good question. I'll also let you know how many fucks are in that answer. <laughs> that fucking shit. Uh, can I ask George another question? Absolutely. George, um, so what campaigns are, uh, as you would say, grabbing you by the throat these days? What, 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 what creative out there do you like? That's a good question. Wow, you wrote the show for me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, where's, the, where's the best Greek restaurant in New York? That's what we really need, that's uh, what we really need to ask George. What's, we will ask George who's, that. The, who's got the best dolmas yeah. in New York? And I'll fill you in on all that. Awesome. And lastly, I, I would be remiss if I didn't ask what's on your iPod. What's on my iPod? Excellent. Um, well, we, met, we mentioned Jay-Z. I've been listening to, uh, I'll give you a couple things I've been listening to a lot. I've, uh, first of all, I, I have uh, mostly music, uh, and I've got podcasts. That's about it. This one. He's got this one. And um, I've been listening to uh, uh, the Notorious uh, film soundtrack album. I've been listening to Brooklyn Go Hard. I don't know why, over and over and over again, uh, on the one hand. Uh, on the other hand, I've been listening to, uh, Tom Petty had a band before he was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers called Mud Crutch. And there is a brilliant song uh, called Scare Easy. And I love the song because the lyric is, I don't, I don't scare easy. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's right for these times. Between Brooklyn Go Hard, Be Tough, and um, Don't Scare Easy. I don't scare easy. Uh, that's Rob. That's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> Fantastic. Bob, thanks so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, let's, let's get that tour. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Great thanks so much. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. So this is, uh, this is Main Street. Grave directors sit on the floor. And then you sort of go up, you know, the uh, group care directors, care directors, and NCDs. And, uh, and uh, the reason why is that we want to... Uh, uh, we want the leadership at the center of the storm. So we we'll work on Main Street. I think uh, it'd be good, even on, on your side, you should get this thing. We must do the things we think we cannot do this. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's what we're living with these days. Who's on floor two? Uh, three floors. Uh, Crane directors, ACDs. Okay. This is Lee's office. And uh, Lee's wall, which is always really 
Yeah, you know, he was an early adopter on Obama, and uh, I think he can sort of get a, you know, a, this is really, you know, kind of the soul of the agency. Uh, just on that this is great. In the den. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Come over the rooms with all the files of books in, in the walls. Those are conference rooms? So, no, that's our research room, but it's, you know, no one has books anymore, so it's cool. <laughs> it's cool that it's there, though. It's set apart so people meet here and do their, uh, do their meet and greets. Uh, this is our surf bar. And this is our board room of actual surf ah. bars. Uh, this is Oz. Interesting. We have all kind of different uh, conference rooms. Basketball court, play after five. Stone crossbones comes from the uh, old JHI mantra that it's more fun to be the pirates than the Navy. <laughs> I did not know that. I'm glad I knew that. Right, I'm going to take, sure. take it from very funky stairs. So you have to be good. Okay. You shouldn't, go, you shouldn't do these if you're drunk. <laughs> all right, I'll stay down here. <laughs> No, they just sort of disarming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is mostly uh, a media partners OMG. They sit in here, but as you can see, the Infinity Team's back there. We have these uh, sale offices. So if you uh, need to create space, uh, it's a very flexible space. It can be an office, it can be a conference room. You know, you can drop to sales if you need to. So just a very flexible space. You know. For a business to change. Facing your partner for media. Oh, and we've kept it within the agency because uh, we have the same clients. But in the agency, um, most agencies don't have an OMD. Like an Omnicom, I should back up. Omnicom agencies typically don't have OMD in their offices. So this is called Venice Beach. It's six days, six half days. Um, and we wind up, uh, you know, cutting a lot of stuff for our clients, and uh, uh, they can do everything to uh, you know, awesome. Uh, these are actually two rooms. This is just a focus group room and a meeting room. So you can do focus groups here. You get your one by mirror there. We do a lot of video conferences in here. Nice and cool. It's nice and cool. Away. Has been cleaned up all week. And then uh, when we first moved here uh, 11 years ago, there's there no one So we built a kitchen. It's always good. And uh, trips bed. so there's actually a full kitchen back there. And uh, you know, people work up here, people hang out during the day. We've got a Pepsi machine, which is good. <laughs> yeah, Jay's always with us. <laughs> Then we organize by team. This is all a Gatorade team here. Oh, okay. So you're not. Then you get a good sense for uh, you know, the scale of it back here. Now, the production product management is here. And then these garage doors, they open up. More brands, Beats is over there, and uh, studios over there, and art buying, and human resources. If you're ready to work here, sure. There's an application. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And that's it. What we do for our clients is deliver huge disruptive ideas for their brands. That's it for our interview with Rob Schwartz. Tune in next week for our interview with George Lois. On the Buzz Bubble.